I'm about to show you the craziest thing that we have ever been asked to wash. I got a notification from Instaquote letting me know that a customer had filled out an online request, but it did not work because it was something that we had never been asked to wash before. So we went out, we took a look, we gave a quote, they gave us the approval, and now we're going to wash it. So we get requests all the time to clean all kinds of things. And you know, you would think that I would be used to getting all kinds of crazy requests. So we got called out to this flea market and this, you know, you look back behind me and you're thinking, oh, okay, yeah, carousels and, and roller coasters, like that's a little strange, but that is not what they wanted us to clean. They wanted us to clean this big ass cow that's got mildew all over it and honestly, I don't even know how to quote something like this, right? Do you do it by the square hoof? Do you do it by, I don't even know, right? I have any experience with cows? I know you're from Kentucky. <laughs> just a little bit, yeah. Okay, so Not yeah. any uh, this big. Yeah, <laughs> so we're just gonna soft wash it and then rinse it off. All right, sounds good to me. Okay, what do you think? I'm, I'm excited. Have you ever done uh, any, well, this is like the craziest thing that we've ever done, right? Yeah. All so right. I'm pretty excited to try something new. Yeah, let's go. And so, like I said, we've been asked to clean a bunch of things over the years. Everything from big equipment to big buildings. We cleaned the entire Ranger Battalion at Hunter Army Airfield, uh, and that included the military police canine kennels. We also cleaned their airplane simulator they used to practice jumping out of the plane with their parachutes. We've cleaned historic statues, historic buildings, beautiful cathedrals. I thought I had heard, and I thought I had seen everything, and then we get the call to clean this thing. So I drive by this every single day, and admittedly, I always notice that it needed to be cleaned. And I want you to admit to me right now, because if you're like me, you notice absolutely everything that needs to be cleaned. Sidewalks, your friends' houses, businesses. Hell, when I'm watching movies with my wife, I will point out dirty roofs that need to be cleaned on the screen. And of course, like I'm sure anybody that you tell this stuff to, they just roll their eyes. So if you're with me in the comment section down below, just write me too. Regardless, I told you that I really didn't have a great way to quote this. And I think that this is actually a pretty good example of one of the biggest questions that I hear all of the time. And that is, how do I quote? And it doesn't matter if it's somebody asking if it's a house or an apartment complex or a driveway cleaning. It's one of the fundamental questions that we need to know, we need to understand in order to successfully run a profitable and a sustainable business. And if you guys want to learn how we land jobs like this, well, not like this because it's weird, but I'm talking about huge ticket jobs like apartment communities, entire neighborhoods, parking garages, hospitals, government contracts, and a bunch more high dollar commercial accounts. Check out Local Domination 2, the 100K Blueprint. This is the most in-depth marketing course where we teach something that we have never taught before, our four-phase BOA system that generates massive lead flow and monster jobs so you can dominate your market too. This is going to be available in January. There is a link in the description if you want to learn more. Okay, so there are several options that you can take in regards to quoting. You can strictly go by the numbers, and by that I mean you understand your cost. You understand what your unit price is going to be, whether it's square foot, linear foot, and then you throw your measurement against that number and come up with your price. Again, this is a really sound method to give pricing to generate quotes if if the numbers that you're working with are accurate and reflect a profit in your business. If not, then you're just making up numbers or using a national average of some sort. Then you really don't know if it's an accurate quote for your business or not. So the first thing you need to do is understand your numbers. You need to understand how to generate your per whatever unit price. And then you can quote really accurately with this, which is one of the reasons why we have built into Quote IQ the hourly rate calculator that can take into account all of your expenses and then generate your break-even number. And then you can add your margins on top of that. It's super easy to use, and it is a great tool that you can use to make sure you're making money on every single quote. So the next method is the eyeball method. Now, this method comes with experience. This method comes with a good, solid understanding of your cost structure, your hourly rate targets, your capabilities, and the speed at which you can complete various tasks, because essentially what you're doing here is you're looking at a property, and you understand all the costs involved. You know your market. You know your customer base. And you come up with a price that works for both your business and your customer's budget. This is a bit more fluid than the previous mathematical method, but it definitely works if you know your shit. And again, this does come with time. It does come with experience and it can be very, very accurate. Now, the third method is something that I use more often than not, and it is kind of like a hybrid method. It's a hybrid between the mathematical method and the eyeballing method, essentially taking both, determining your square footage or your linear footage, throwing that up against your predetermined number for whatever service it is that you're providing, and then you eyeball it. And you know, based on your experience, what it's going to take 
to get that done and what you need to charge in order to get that job. And honestly, a lot of times a square foot number doesn't tell you everything that you need to know, which is why we've included the street view and the mapping feature in Quote IQ, which allows you to get a better visual representation than just basing it on square foot alone. And when you can see it in person or you can see pictures of it, then you have the opportunity to see how dirty it is. You can see how intricate the property is, the architecture, if you will, that's going to make things easier or more difficult when you're out there on the job cleaning all of which can impact how long it takes, which is why it's good to use a hybrid model to quote, in my opinion. So now we come back to how I came up with a quote to clean this giant cow. So obviously it would be unbelievably difficult to measure this by the square foot. And again, I have no reference point for a square foot price on cow cleaning, but I do know what our hourly target rate is. I also know what our minimum service prices are. And I also know that this is a very unique scenario and probably one that will never come up again until they call us to come and clean this cow again. And when I see something unique, immediately in my mind, the price goes up. So for this particular job and this particular quote, based not on my knowledge of the market pricing for gigantic cows, but on the fact that I didn't think it was going to take too long, I knew we were going to hit it with a soft wash system. I knew we were going to rinse it with a pressure washer. And I knew this particular flea market had a little bit of money. So I sent them a quote. The quote was for $500. Tell me how much you would have charged for this cow in the comments section.